Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how binary addition works, how you can add binary numbers and then once we've done that we're going to look at how we can implement it using half adders and full adders. Okay let's get going. So before we jump into binary addition let's have a quick review on how normal human addition works, deanery addition. So let's say we're adding these two numbers together what we're going to do is we're going to start at the right hand side and we're going to add, uh, let's call them inputs A and B. So we're going to add 1 and 6 together. 1 plus 6 makes a sum of 7. Okay, now it's got not gone over 10, so we don't carry anything. So we just write it in and then we move on to the next one. So let's have a look at the next one. Well, 7 plus 5, that makes 12. So we just carry the 1 over, the bigger number over to the next one, the carry out. This is called the carry out. And then we put it into the next set of addition, which we're adding three numbers together, which makes it the carry in. So we got the A is 5, the B is 4, and our carry in value is 1. So 5 and 4 plus is 9, add 1 makes 10. So there you go. And just like normal, we keep the 0 where it's at, and we bring the 1 over to the next column. 4 and uh, 0 and 1 make 5. There we go. And there is our complete deanery addition. So that's pretty standard. Binary addition works in exactly the same way, except that we only ever have to add up to three as a maximum. Okay, so let's have a look how that goes. So let's have a look. A, let's imagine A is one. We can only start on the right hand side. We've got one plus zero. Well, that makes one. There we go. Perfect. One and zero is one. Good. And in binary, one is one. So we don't need to do anything. And then we move on to the next column. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because 1 plus 1 is 2, as we know. Um, but if you write that in binary, it's written as 1, 0. So again, we've got a problem here, just like in deanery. So we just carry over the bigger number. 0 stays where it's at, gets, and then the 1 gets carried out. So the 1 gets carried out, and then on the next edition, it becomes a carry in on the next one, just like in normal deanery. So here we've got 1 plus 1 plus 1. That, of course, makes 3, which in binary you would write that as 1, 1. There we go. So now, again, we leave the 1 where it's at, and we move the other 1 over to the left-hand column. There we go. And then final addition, 0 plus 1. There we go. Well, it'd be 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 1. There you go. So that's how binary addition works. Pretty much exactly the same as deanery addition. So let's just have a quick review. Okay, so if we add 0 and 0 together, uh, then that's going to be a sum of 0 and a carry of 0, or 0 and 0 and 0, etc., whichever way you want to do it. Uh, if we add a 0 and 1 together from the A and the B, or with a the carry, then we get a sum of 1, but we don't carry anything over. Uh, if we uh, add 1 and 0 together, then again, same thing, sum of 1, carry of 0. Uh, if we add 1 and 1 together, that makes 2, or 1, 0 in binary, uh, which means the sum is 0, but we carry over 1. And if we have 1 and 1 and 1 together, that makes 3, or 1, 1 in binary, which means we keep the sum as the 1, and we carry 1 as well. So how do we implement that using logic circuits? Okay, well, before we look at that, we just need to remember that the right-hand column has only two inputs, uh, because in the very right-hand column, there's no carrying in. Um, but all the other columns need three inputs, because you might be carrying something in from the previous the result of the previous calculation. Okay, so the right-hand column is the easiest, and with that one, we can implement it using a half adder, much, much simpler. So we've only got the two inputs, A and B, and then they're going to result in some kind of sum and some kind of carry out. The sum is going to be a 1 or a 0, and the carry out is going to be a 1 or a 0. So looking at the truth table here that we've got on the left-hand side, you can see that there's only four possible outcomes we've got here. 0 and 0 is going to result in 0, 0. Uh, 1 and 0 is going to result in 1, and, uh, 1 for the sum, but 0 for the carry out. Uh, 0 plus 1 is going to result again, 1 in the sum, but 0 for the carry out. And then only if both the A and the B are 1, do we get a carry out of 1. Uh, and that's how do we do that? Well, we need to split it into two parts. 
So the first thing we do is we handle the OR bit. Okay, so if A or B are on, but not both of them, then we need to add one to the sum. And that's really, really quite simple to do. All we do is we use an excl exclusive OR uh, feeding into the sum. So if A is on, but B is off, and then it will go through the XOR, and then it will put one out to the sum. If B is on, uh, and A is off, then in they'll go through the XOR and it will output to the sum. But if both of them are off, uh, both of them are on, or both of them are off, uh, then nothing will get output to the sum, so it will get sent as zero. So that's how we handle most of the truth table using that XOR. Uh, but what about the bomb? What about if A and B are on? We need to carry out one. Well, that's where our AND gate comes in. So if A and B are on, then we output one to the carry out. Really, really quite simple. There we go. Okay, so that's a half adder, um, and that's quite simple to do. Now let's have a look at the slightly more complicated one where we start need to consider three inputs. So on the uh, second column, and from there onwards, yeah, we've got the one and the one from the A and the B, but then we also might have a carry uh, carry in from the previous uh, from the previous here one here we haven't got to carry in or rather we're just carrying in a zero into here okay so we need to add these two uh, these one two three together uh, and do the logic based on all three of them and there's going to be two outputs again you're going to have a sum out which will go here and then any carry that needs to happen there so it's a little bit more complicated three possible inputs there we go you can see them in orange there, the one and the one and the zero down the bottom. So now our truth table is going to look a little bit more complicated because we've got three inputs, which means eight possible um, uh, eight possibilities, as you can see here on the left. Um, so if all of them are off, if zero, zero, so we do zero plus zero plus zero, well, that's going to result in a sum of zero and a carry of zero. Uh, if we've got zero plus zero plus one, well, that just equals one. Um, so that'd be a sum of one with no carry. Uh, if we, and again, uh, same works with the A and the B. So if zero plus one plus zero, well, that's just one and we've got nothing to carry. Uh, if two of them are on, so for instance, the B and the C are on, or the uh, A and the B are on, then we need to, that's going to result uh, one plus one um, equals two, which is one zero. So we're going to end up with carrying one and then a sum of zero. Uh, and if all of them are on, as you can see down the bottom here, if all of them are on, one and one and one makes three, or in binary one one. So you're going to have to output one to the sum and also carry one as well. So how do we implement that using logic gates? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than the previous one. So the first thing we need to handle is if all of them are off or if only one of the inputs are on. Okay, so either A or B or C are on, but not more than one. And the way we do that is we use these two exclusive OR gates connected together, uh, which function as three separate OR, uh, ex well, basically function as one exclusive OR together. So that if A or B or C are on, uh, but only one of each, then it will output a one to the, uh, the sum. Otherwise, it will output a zero to the sum. And you can see that here. Uh, so those three together, all joined together, they uh, control whether the sum is out by using two connected exclusive ORs. So that's this first part of it done. Then all we need to do is we just need to do the next bit, which is the carry. Uh, and the carry, well, if at least two of the inputs of are one, then we need to carry over a digit to the next one. So if A and B, uh, or B and C, or A and C, or indeed A, B and C are on, then we need to carry out over to, uh, over to the next column. And the way we do that is we connect two AND gates together and feed in, well, we do A and B here feed to this bottom AND gate. So if A and B are on, then it will go through to the OR. Uh, this is a normal OR, so if either or both are on, it will go out. Um, and the A and B go to there. And then what we do is the C connects here to the AND gate here. 
from the output of the exclusive or here so this way this one deals with C and B or C and A because it's connected to the output of there um, and there you go by having the AND gate there if um, if both of these if this AND gate is on that will be uh, output one if this AND gate is on it will output as well one if both of them are on as well it will also output as one otherwise it will output as zero there you go so it looks quite complicated but that's just because it's got two separate parts uh, and it's got the three um, the three inputs rather than the two inputs but you can see here that actually it's not terribly complex if you consider them two separate parts the ors there controlling the sum uh, the exclusive ors controlling the sum and then the and gates with the or uh, controlling the carry so there you go uh, that is how binary addition works and how half adders and full adders work. Uh, I hope that's useful. Uh, if you do like the, tu uh, the tutorial or the video, if you've got any comments or suggestions for more videos, then please let me know. And please subscribe and like because uh, it makes me very happy. Okay, thank you very much and good luck with your logic gates and binary addition.